Hello, I'm Kay Wesley and I'm your Women's Equality Party candidate for Cheshire East for the local elections. Now, in this last week, the gender pay gap has been published again. And sad to say, the gender pay gap in Cheshire East has actually gone up since last year. The mean pay gap has gone up from 10.2% to 13.5%. And Cheshire East Council itself has a gender pay gap of 13.7%. Now, it's illegal to pay men and women different amounts for doing the same or equivalent work. But the gender pay gap refers to the difference between the average pay between a man and a woman in the same organisation. And the gender pay gap has to be reported for organisations of 250 staff or more. It exists for three reasons really. First of all, unequal caring responsibilities, women carrying the burden of caring for children, the elderly and disabled, so women tend to work part time more often. Also, the labour market's divided. Women and girls tend to choose uh, jobs which are lower paid and men and boys tend to choose jobs which are higher paid. Now, you might say that's their choice, but when you look at some of the social pressures uh, on men and women, then you begin to see that it might not be an entirely free choice. Even at the age of six or seven, we're seeing girls and boys having gendered stereotypes about who does what kind of job. We need to stop breaking down those stereotypes. And also we see discrimination, a huge sort of parenting penalty for women. 77% of women uh, in the UK reckon they've been discriminated against at work after having children and returning to work. So in Cheshire East now, 74% of companies pay men more than women on average. 19 of those companies have a gen gender pay gap of more than 20%. Now, we think it's just unacceptable that in 2019, women are still being paid so much less than men and that this situation is hardly changing year on year. The Women's Equality Party are pressing for more comprehensive action to deal with this pay gap. Our priorities are affordable childcare, shared parental leave and zero tolerance for workplace discrimination will go a long way to addressing these barriers to women's progression and reducing the gender pay gap.